So the hot roller set, you can see there the rollers are on an angle on the sides because everything is going back. And on the bottom, it's going up because the bottom is going up. So the set of the hot roller and the direction of it is important. Over directing, there is a lot of tease in this look because it is a sculpted look. It's not a boho look, it's not a soft look. It has a strong foundation. It's great for a bride who might have a very heavy or big headpiece. Um, it's got a very elegant and sculpted kind of look for maybe a gown that's fitted, um, something maybe that's satin. So it's important that the hairstyle works with the look. I'm taking small sections and I'm going and using the rounds of the head. I'm definitely in this area here going for a center, more of a center with a little piece here on the side, but I'm not going any more toward the side because I want the temple and ear area tighter and then fullness in the crown and the back. You can never have too much tease, but if you get caught with not enough, you're going to be fighting floppiness and uh, lack of control. So I'm pinning forward a, a piece that is section one and it is going to overlay on top of the bulk of the rest of the look. And, and I know, I, I have enough experience to know what I'm doing and what I'm heading toward and that's why I'm really giving it as much tease as you see. client might get nervous about the tees or even a stylist might be nervous about the tees. It's just important to say it's the foundation of the look. It's not going to show. Um, it can always come out, but you cannot put it in once you get started. Now this mannequin head does not have very long hair. And it is important that the tees here is is at the root, close to the head shape. And maybe it can feel like you get totally lost with this much tease, but the sectioning system of section one in the front, two and three on the sides, and four in the crown and five in the back will just help you stay focused. Now, because we're going for tight, clean sides, I'm not leaving them out to twist and boho and bring back pieciness. They're getting put into the look right away. So it's really a quick updo. It just has a lot of prep. Just making sure that it is smooth and getting any bumps out and it's going to be clean. Putting an elastic here and I have it down below the occipital. That the ponytail is going to hug right in here under the occipital bone. Pull that bottom and it brings it in tight without messing up the top layer. Be 
Yep, more teas. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm teasing just on the top because the bottom side will be the smooth section. I'm gonna stick another little elastic here on the end. <laughs> 